Hello, you guys. I am so sorry. I totally dropped the ball. I have been crazy busy running around this house like a mad woman. My husband and my son were on a camping trip and they wound up coming back early because my son got extremely blistered, um, sunburnt. So Let's hope that this is going to work. It looks like I am live. So it's not in the true event because of the fact that, um, like I said, I'm a wee bit late. So I truly apologize. I am so thankful that you guys, a couple of you messaged me and let me know that I had really screwed up today. So my deep you know, apologies, you know, life is real. And um, we're going to go ahead and get into this mystery stamping. Um, and and so, you know, so we had to kind of get my son with some uh, Novocaine, or I think it's called Lanocaine or something like that, to spray on his blisters when they got home because he was pretty, pretty blistery and burnt. Um, but they, all in all, they had a decent trip. They got away from town got a couple of days they went fishing and that's how he wound up getting extremely sunburnt and then my neighbors called me because her husband um had to be taken to our local va and is was in the hospital and so she needed me to run into town and pick him up so i mean like i said i don't want to make up a bunch of excuses because i did i dropped the ball but life has been truly crazy and like i said <laughs> hello Anna thank you so much for letting me know S hello Sandra <clears throat> I'm tr truly sorry so let's get into this because I don't want to waste any more of your guys's time since I already blew that one <laughs> all right so I had said that for this mystery stamping that um you are going to need a base color of uh five and a half by eight and a half and we're going to go ahead and fold this like we normally would our regular bases um oh and it looks like when i did this i knocked all my stuff off back here it's just gonna be one of those kind of days okay there we go so now i gotta find my bone folder since everything just fell behind my desk hmm Yeah, my, my daughter wound up having a couple of seizures. Uh, she had one last night, woke me up in the middle of the, the night, freaked me out. And then this morning when um, I, uh, before I woke, she woke me up again having another one of her seizures. So again, scatterbrainy, that's me, too many things going on. Okay. And then the next piece that I said you're going to need is you're going to need a um, piece of designer series paper. And I chose the Celebrate Everything designer series paper. This paper is just amazing. I love how it does have, you know, all the holidays in there. Hello, Marcia. Hello, Sheila. And how it does have all the different, um, the, the uh, holidays in this paper. It is just beautiful. And with this one, you know, with fall Halloween coming up, <clears throat> I decided to pick this one here. And on the back side, it's got these really neat stripes. So this is um, three and three quarters by five. And then I said to use a coordinating piece of cardstock. So I chose my uh, crushed curry, which matches the little stars and the stripes on the back. Now with this card, <clears throat> you're going to see both sides of this paper. So the coordinating cardstock is four by five and a quarter. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Marcia, for sharing. And again, you are the, you guys that are just popping in, I truly apologize for being so late coming into this mystery stamping tonight. <clears throat> so we are going to take our uh, designer series paper. You're also going to need a scrap of basic white, and then I'm using a scrap of the um, 
the crushed curry because what I had said in there is you need to have a layering punch or dies. So that's where I came in with my double oval <clears throat> punch. So I will use my scrap of yellow to cut out the back part for the nesting or the layering. And then my basic white will be for my sentiment. <clears throat> But first, what we're going to do with this piece here is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in here diagonally. So I'm going to put both corners. Can you guys see this? Put both of my corners. Now, I will <clears throat> tell you that since my card, I'm going to be going landscape style. I'm going to make sure, and not that it really matters, but some directional paper, it will matter. So just make sure you know which way you're running your paper so I put corner to corner and then what I like to do when I do corner to corner is I like to start my cutting blade in the middle of my paper because sometimes if you start at one of the corners sometimes it kind of gets snagged and then you wind up jacking your paper all up and you don't don't really want to do that now I made my first cut so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this and I'm going to turn it making sure all my corners and all my paper is lined up here. And again, putting both of my now opposite corners in here, I'm going to cut this. And again, starting it past my corner, run down and then run up, okay? So there are my four little chunk pieces that I have there, okay? So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to lay this over here and then we will decide <clears throat> which parts of that we want to use um, facing up and facing down so I'll, I'll put that in there in just a second so now I'm taking my cardstock the coordinating cardstock and this is the four by five and a quarter layer and I'm going to do the same exact thing or am I supposed to cut that I think I am. No, I don't think I'm. Blah, blah, blah. Let's try it here. See, I'm so scattery, I forgot what I was even doing. I don't think I cut it. I don't. Okay, so now we're going to place that. <clears throat> and then I am going to take my stripe side and see if I like the stripes on the ends. Or I can flip these. So you, however you do yours, you can decide how you want your designer series paper. And you don't have to use front and back. So if, if you want to take two separate pieces of designer series paper, you can absolutely do that. And then you'll be able to make two cards at that point. Did I freeze up? It looked like I froze up for a minute. There we go. I think I actually like my two side pieces being, I don't know, I'm not going to glue it down yet until I see exactly what I'm going to do here. <coughs> <coughs> so that's kind of the way mystery stamping is. It's also a mystery for me as well. I just get my pieces cut and then we kind of just make this card together but I think I like that and then I'm going to be taking my um, oval punch here and I'm going to do my crushed curry for the layering piece and then also taking and doing this little piece here and this is what I'm going to stamp my sentiment on and so I decided to use the best witches for um, my sentiment. And I'm going to put the best witches in there. Just like that. 
And then when I took my photo, I took it with my little hat in there. So I am going to um, um, decide, I think I was going to use these little stars. And so again, taking my punch here and depending on whether or not you're using dies or um, a die set or something like that, you can have extra little elements. I just like those little stars, <clears throat> especially since I had the little stars in this paper. So I'm going to glue my sentiment. So any of your punches, just know <clears throat> if you don't have a layering punch or layering dies, you can use any punch. Bowling night. Woohoo. That sounds like fun. I haven't bowled in years. My mom, when I was growing up, she used to be on a league when we lived over in Southern California. She used to be on a league and I remember going to the bowling alley like every, you know, every Wednesday or whatever it was. Why is my glue not wanting to work? It must be really clogged in there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that is going to get layered in there. So let me flip this again and see. Let me look at it one more time. And then flip these ones. Hmm. I don't know. I need to not overthink it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So now you're going to take your piece. Now this is where you need to be kind of, kind of, uh, quick and fast, but yeah, I mean, you don't have to be like super crazy. Um, but just, this is why I said to use liquid glue because you guys all know that liquid glue doesn't dry super fast. So I can just lay that on there just for the moment, not pushing it down yet. <clears throat> because if I need to adjust anything, I have some time to do that. So what I want to do is I want to make sure my centers and my margins are pretty spot on before I completely push that down, which there we go. That looks good. <clears throat> oh my goodness. I have a frog in my throat. Okay, this is gonna go like that, watching my spacing and my margins. <clears throat> yeah, it does look good either way, absolutely. And so see, that's where I was saying, if you use two separate pieces of paper, then you can do them opposite of each other. So like if I was to use um, one of the other papers out of this uh, pack, and I grabbed something else with a little bit of different crushed, like a different crushed curry or something on there. You can absolutely make two cards, but then do one with this design, but then flip the other one. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this on here. So this is a good way to use up your paper doing this design because I know like myself, I was actually just talking to one of my team members about the fact that I have so much of designer series paper that I have stacked up inside of my closet. And I told her, I said, I go, I really need to um, find out what I'm going to do with it. And so for me, if I send cards out, <clears throat> I normally like to make sure it's product that we have in um, current sales because you know some people knowing that I'm a demonstrator they want to buy it from me and uh, being a business builder but those who are just doing it as a discount shopper or our customers it's a good way to get that paper used up so you can not feel guilty about buying more paper if that makes sense okay so this is going to go right here and then I'm going to place a couple of these stars
just around, but maybe, I was going to say maybe I need to wink them up just to make them a little blingy because you can't really see them on this paper. I mean, I do like the one on that. <clears throat> that one's too big. <clears throat> so maybe my idea of the stars didn't work out. And see, and that's what happens with mystery stamping is none of us really know until we get there. Yep, I'm not going to use those other ones. I'm just going to use that one right there. Because you can't really see that. I mean, I could probably get a scrap of black, but I didn't say to get another scrap. So I'm going to just leave it alone. And, you know, you guys, if you, you choose different colors, you can pick what you want to do. But that is our mystery stamping card. <clears throat> for what I was thinking. So, um, you guys have through the 21st to get your cards made and you don't have to go at, at landscape you can make yours go um portrait style <clears throat> that kind of stuff is you know okay just as long as you use the same kind of um layout that i had given you guys <clears throat> but the winner of this month's mystery stamping is going to be a pack of this real red and white six by six glimmer paper. So this has got, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but this this white back here is so awesome. I love using it, especially with that little barn stamp set that we have. It is so perfect for making like snow or if you have a snowman or anything like that, this glimmer paper is perfect for winter cards. So that's why I decided that I would do this as a giveaway <clears throat> for this month's mystery stamping. So again, I apologize. I don't want to keep sounding like a broken record that I was so late. But at least with this, <clears throat> you guys can come back and you can watch it and you can meet and you can... Um, uh, it, it'll be pre-recorded so then you guys can come back in here and watch it and see how everything is thank you guys so much all right you guys have a great evening and i can't wait to see your guys's cards again make sure you are part of my pink barn stampers group if you're not a part of that go over there and hit that join button and i'll let you in <clears throat> watch for this card i'm going to now take a picture of this and I will post it over to that group. And that's where you guys are going to take your photos and put them in the comments under this card. So give me just a few minutes so I can get some pictures of this so I can get it posted over there. So then when you guys make yours, if you didn't have your supplies or maybe you did have your supplies ready, I was just running late. <clears throat> so. I hope you guys enjoy this and make yourselves some beautiful cards with this layout because it is truly easy and it makes some great um, cards. So I will see you guys back here, promise. <laughs> I, I have my timer set for tomorrow at noon over on my YouTube live. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.